Hello everyone, I am Will, and welcome back to my playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, last we left off, we cleared out the seal tunnels for its smithing stone bell bearing number two, which we, which allows us to buy smithing stones threes and fours from the Twin Maiden Husk here at the round table. So now we can buy smithing stones one, two, three, and four, anytime we need it, which is very useful. Um, there was an onyx lore at the end of the seal tunnels. It wasn't too much of a challenge. And that led us to Rykard's Divine Tower, which right now we can't get in now without, not until after we obtain Rykard's Greater Rune. So it's going to be a little while before we actually get it. After that, we went straight to the Shaded Castle. And the main reason why we went there is to grab the Valkyrie's Prosthesis. I think I still have it. Yeah, the Valkyrie's Prosthesis. Yeah, Golden prosthes Prosthesis once used by the one-armed Valkyrie. So. That was our main goal in the Shaded Castle. We needed that to give it to Millicent to advance her quest line. Which will then allow us to buy a incantation from Gallery, which I'll do here in a few minutes. But so we picked up the prosthesis, went through the whole all the shaded castle, and ended with a fight with the Elmer of the Briar, who is just another who is the bell bearing hunter, I should say. But like all his other fights, pretty straightforward. I don't think I had much of an issue, if any. I think we might have gotten hit once, but yeah, I, I think I'm pretty good with the bell bearing bell bearing hunters. But, and that's basically all I did. But I did a lot between episodes, actually. I went back to the seal tunnel, farmed the miners for smithing stone fives, because those miners in the seal tunnels will drop smithing stone fives. So now we have a source of getting spithy stones 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Although the fifth one takes a little bit longer because it's RNG, but I was there. I got smithy stone 5 so I can upgrade various weapons, noble slender, sword. I honestly don't know how much longer I'm going to keep this five-hander. I'm not really a big fan of colossal weapons or big slow weapons to begin with. I should probably get the mace to 15 as well, but I can hold off for a little bit. Naginata, Knight's Halberd. I think I got the shield as well. Yeah, the brass shield 15. So I should probably do the round shield as well, but uh, I don't know. I'll probably do it a bit later. But yeah. Yeah, mainly just to get these weapons to 15, or some of the weapons to 15. And I also farmed for the Perfumer and Depraved Perfumer set. So I also got two of their armors because you can alter them, so just in case I ever wanted to. Depraved Perfumer, yeah. But, but, and with the runes I got, leveled, I think, nine, well, a few more times. Um, I think I put five into Faith. I think one into strength. And did I get one more into dexterity? Just want to double check. Yeah, and one into dexterity. So that's the levels I'm at right now. I plan to get dexterity up to at least 30 before we go into the capital. Actually, no. By the time we're done with Altus Plateau, I hope to have dexterity up to 30 at least. That's where we're at. So, in this episode, I'm going to grab, finish off some quest lines, and I may or may not go down to Nokron at this point. I don't know if I want to do the Nokron just yet. I'll probably do the Plateau first, then Nokron, and then Mount Gelmir. But journey to the cap two thing you may. Okay, I don't think you have anything to do until we actually get into the capital. 
Let's go. I'm just double checking to make sure I don't miss anything. Although now, as I think about it, I might have ended Selen's quest prematurely. I don't think so, but I guess, okay, I guess once Radon's festival is done and we talk to Jaren and he's freed and all that, I'm not quite sure if he'll go and take care of Selen right away. So. Greetings, are you here for? Okay, that's about the Dunning done here. So I uh, we'll we'll see if I didn't mess up Selen's quest line. Part of me thinks I didn't, but I don't know. Okay, we don't need to do that yet. Okay, never mind. Alright, so first stop is to give Millicent her prosthesis. So, she should be right up here. There she is. All right, Millicent. I'm sorry about the arm, but I got you a new one. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Erd Tree. So, we're gonna give her the prosthesis. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again. I think if the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. See? All is all up. See? I, I, I didn't mean to take your arm, but I got you a new one, and it's even better. If the arm serves, it might be possible for perhaps then I can aid you Oops. in battle. Didn't mean to skip that. So we'll just do it one more time. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Alright. Yay. So now if we rest here, we sh she should move on. Let's see if that happens. I have to quit and reload, but might have to quit and reload. All right. Quickest way to do that is just to fast travel. Oh, she's still up there. Okay, never mind. But we gave her the prosthesis. Next stop, I'm gonna go to Sullivan's because we got the Amber Starlight. Hopefully, hopefully he can give me the uh, talisman and I can be done with him. Although I want to, I actually never gave Ronnie the little potion he gives us afterwards. What is I wonder what'll happen. Uh, where am I going? Oh, here it is. Alright, Sullivan, here's your little starlight. Begging for another lesson so soon. Uh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. Alright. No new puffets, no new sorceries. Well, well. You managed to lay your hands on it. The blessed day is finally upon us. Goodness gracious, the way it glistens. Utterly enchanting. To think this was once a demigod's very fate. My, oh my, oh my. Wait. So that starlight represented a demigod's fate, and it fell? Considering the color and where we found it, was that Melania's fate that fell? Or that we took? Or 
something. Oh, great. Just great. Ah. Are you still here? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should give you your reward. Yeah, please. It's all yours. It's splendid work. It's just marvelous. And that's the reward we actually care about from this quest line. Once you have it, you, we don't care about them anymore. Now just you wait. The merriment is soon to begin. The scheme I promised is to be revealed very shortly. Okay. Yeah, so once we have the talisman, we can ignore his quest from now. It's basically done. And then we can do Ronnie's quest now. But I want to see what happens if we get his potion and give it to Ronnie. I want to see what happens. I know it doesn't actually kill Ronnie, but I think it at least makes us hot or I don't know. What's the right word? Makes it basically I think it like puts a hold on Ronnie's quest until we absolve the sin. Solvus? Good. I've been waiting for you. It's finally complete. The perfection of my draft, gleaming nectar sweet. Give it to Rani and ensure she drinks it. Amber drought. The dead eyed doll lets down her guard in your presence rather remarkably. Though she might dip her hands in the dirt and feign that icy persona, she's a frail, gentle girl at heart. <laughs> so about the draw you just gave me? You understand, don't you? That once you have Rani drink my draft, my scheme will come to fruition. And we... Well... We'll be in a position to claim the very finest puppet ever crafted. Just imagine the pure elation. All right, Selvis. I'm only doing it because I don't, because I haven't done it, and I want to see what happens. Only because I know we can kind of, you know. Even, even if we do give it the draw, we can step back with a uh, Celestial 2. Yeah. Increases magic damage, but at the cost of damage negation. So. And an Amber Draught. Containing a gleaming Amber Draught for use in a scheme. Give to Ronnie and sure she drinks it. And we'll be in a position to claim the very finest puppet ever created. Crafted. Let's see what happens. Again, I'm almost certain, well, I am certain we can backpedal from this decision with Pope Turtle. If not, I can just reload my cloud save, so it should be okay. Non-responsive. Administer draught. For science. Well, this is a most unpleasant awakening. The depths of wickedness never fail to surprise me. I am saddened that thou wouldst succumb to such depravity. Led astray by Celevis with devious tonic in hand. Didst thou think to have thy way with me? Be gone, hapless scum. I won't have another whiff of thy rotten breath. I did it for science. I didn't mean it. 
God, you make me sound like a freaking puppet, puppet perv. <laughs> I'm nothing like Solus. I have spoken away from my sight. You have anything else? I don't think she has anything else, but we're just gonna. It's the third time, fiend. Enough of thy unbearable breath. <laughs> she just straight up kills you. <laughs> so if we go back up to talk to her, she's gonna kill us again? <laughs> Or will she be gone? <laughs> I didn't expect her to just straight up kill us. <laughs> I knew she'd be angry at us, but I didn't think she'd kill us, which is wow. Will she kill us again? She probably will. Oh no, she's gone. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> All right, but if yeah, because I think EG's gone now, which is why he's not there. Let's go to Pope Turtle. Using the celestial dew should undo this this negative behavior. You have Celestial Dew, right? Yes, okay, good. Oh, I should have made sure I had some before I did it. Pope Turtle. Greetings. Do you. I don't think I have anything else. Uh, do I want anything from you? Not at the moment. We'll definitely buy them. But not right now. All right, so we're gonna absolve sin. Your sins are absolved. You don't need absolution. All right. So now Ronnie should be on good terms with us again. You know what FromSoft should have done? If you given her the draw, the next time you come back here, Bly should be up and up at the top. Where instead of Ronnie disappearing, it should be replaced with a hostile Bly. I think like an unkillable hostile Bly, just like fight you off. That would have been pretty cool. He's supposed to be her shadow, her protector, kind of. But just, just my thought. Here she is. Like it never even happened. <laughs> okay. I was just curious, so. All right. But we did die, so our crit runes now deactivated, but we'll hold off on activating it again. Okay, so next stop is Still still around? Yeah, still have to still around. Next stop is to Gowry's Shack, which should be quickest way should be probably here. I don't know. There's, there's no quick way to get to a shack. It's just all right, Gowry. have something I want. Gary? Ah, welcome, welcome. How may I help? Gave Millicent the prosthesis. Hmm. 
Did he have something to say if we didn't give it to her first? Huh. I'll have to check that out one time. <clears throat> so, you gave Millicent a <laughs> golden arm replacement. This is a wonderful development. Thank you for your kindness. Now, Millicent may fully realize her true warrior's potential. Like her beautiful mother. Yes, we know. So what about her? What about her warrior's potential? The girl, Millicent, she is a bird. Green and undeveloped, waiting to flower into magnificence. What a wondrous day that will be. In truth, before her, I'd never seen a bud of such superior quality. She might very well outshine her sisters. Yep. But once you give Millicent her prosthesis, we can buy pest threads. And we will definitely buy it here. No if, ands, or buts. I need another, what, 5,000? Uh, let's do these. One of those, and a number one. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. I didn't, I needed 6,000. Not five. Do you? I want pest threats. Do you have an interest in rot incantations? Then you might like to learn something of the history of Melania, goddess of scarlet rot. I didn't realize you would say that once we bought it. So, what about Melania? Queen Marika and her King Consort Radigan were blessed with twin demigods, and Melania was one of them. She was born an Empyrean carrying the Scarlet Rod. An Empyrean is no mere demigod. In the age of the Elden Ring and Queen Marika, the precious Empyrean was born, a new god to forge a new order. Since Melania fought Radan, and the great scarlet flower blossomed in Aeonia, I have dedicated myself to her, and to the resplendence of the Order of Rot, the cycle of decay and rebirth. Desperate prayer. All right. All right, Sage Gowrie. Do you need... Okay, just making sure. But now we have pest threads, and I'm one happy person. Oh, yes. I don't have enough arcane for Dragon Ball. But Dragon Ball, what, takes 15 arcane, I think? 16 arcane, okay. Hmm. That's okay. We got pest threads. I'm happy. All right. So. Where do I want to go? There's a box up there. Hold this plateau. Hmm. I'll go here, and there's like a little area up. There's a little area past Millicent. It was up there where that statue is. There's a little area right up there. We'll do that next. First. Let's just say this thing is gonna beat the, the final boss for us. And, or the final boss in the base game. Gonna win us the game. Anything else? No, we're good. I think there's a tibia mirror up there.
you're still here? Okay. Quivers. Oh, it already spotted us, really? Fine. Get my back here. There it is. A whole bunch of skeletons, apparently. Deathroot and Tibia Summons, which is a spell which we will be using. Right. Tibia Mariner, here on Altus Plateau. <laughs> I don't know, I have to go check the replay again because I think I staggered him twice. The first time, I don't know what I did, but I know the second stagger was from Stance Break. The first one, I don't know. I think I might have countered a spell or something. Oops. Can I drop your shield? No? Okay. Good things done five. Nice. Anything out here? I don't think so. Okay. Nope, nothing over here. Nice. Before exploring the rest of it, I wanna take these guys. Oh, uh, Check out this statue. Statue of Rosas or Rosas. I don't know the pronunciation. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. I think there's a catacombs up there somewhere. Alright. We got another bee or a death root, but Garank should be in a frenzied state at this point. Which means if we go back to his sanctum, he's gonna attack us. You know, we can calm him down, but we have to like to fight him a little bit, and he is not easy. <laughs> in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he killed us in like two hits. But we do want to go back and give him death roots because he's. We should start beginning some good incantations from. It is considered a ruin, so there should be a basement somewhere. Oops, some more items over here. I thought that was a holy pot. 
Yep, fire. It's cool. Uh, I think we've checked out that over there already. Basement yet. I know there should be one. Stormhawk feathers. Cool. And we'll take them. More runes we'll take. No, sir. Here. I don't think so, but we'll take this flower. Right, yeah, I don't see anything. Ooh, sacramental buds. Here's the downstairs. A bunch more skeletons, probably. Downstairs is locked with a stone sword key. Which requires one, which is good. Stone sword key lost on use. How many do I have left? 18. Plenty. Skeletons. Oh. And we have Hail Drake Talisman plus one. So the next upgrade version for the uh, Pale Drake. I think is what eight? I don't know. Let's see, how much does it give? It gives seven percent. Ooh. Seven percent. <laughs> I mean take what we can take what we'll take what we can get. No point in wasting Sacred Blade on you. Okay, so what's up here then? Here's skeletons. Cured meat. Just him? Really, that was, it was all just him, huh? Oh, there's the catacombs. Catacomb. So yeah, it was all just him, basically. Okay. What's in 
And which one's this? Wide ham catacombs. Stick with the fire pots. Mm, sure. So white hand and catacombs. I bet this is another watchdog. Alright, let's do it. Three little dots, that's an arrow trap. Morning pool functional. There's the plate for it. Do we have imps or do we have skeletons? I think we have imps. We have imps. I think I saw an item. Yes, there's Grave Club Ward. Oh no, this is skeletons. No, it's imps. Storm wall should parry the uh... let's try it. The storm wall ash war, I believe, will also parry pots. I think it does. Okay, so it will parry the pots, but because it's lightning pots and water, yeah. When lightning, lightning hits, or when, yeah, when lightning hits water, it's going to cause like a little AoE splash. So maybe if we do parry it away, it's still going to like hit us with the AoE. Buck says you uh, you throw darts. Or you don't. Slimes and putrid guys. Let's get our oh. right. If you get grabbed by the slimes, just mash your uh, shoulder pat shoulder buttons. came from the roof. Huh. 
did not know that. Glove worth six. We can upgrade Oleg one more time. That doesn't open from the side. We have Lindell Knight. Who are actually resistant to lightning. gonna do get chomped and then parry <laughs> hey, you don't drop anything what a shame Sword key. Oh, him. Oh, trap. And that's how you make use of traps. I bet you're going to throw pots at us. Just takes one. Heard of imp. I heard something. Lightning storm or lightning scorpion charm. Like all the other scorpion charms, that one increases lightning at the detriment of damage negation. Spike ceilings, which means. Yeah. I think that's the way forward down there. Can we? Hmm. I honestly don't know if we can actually run across. <laughs> we can try, but I don't think we're going to make it. Hello. Aha. anything over there except for that grave violet so we're gonna ignore it <laughs> yo buddy over here attention just yet. Oh, too soon. Stance break and bleed. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, much better. Okay. 
Alright, so here's the lever. Heavy door opens. Alright, so. Got to run and jump. We'll probably have to get into that little alcove. Wait for it to go back down. There we go. And go underneath. Let's pop that on the other side of that gate. I hate crabs. Oh my god, did I not do more damage? They don't have a lot of bleed resistance. So stick with the stick with the halo scythe. There's a trap. <laughs> How much you want to bet there's a crab? I bet good money on a crab. One, but two. Make use of your environment. So I was right, there was there was a crab, but I was wrong in that there were actually two. That's grease. But luckily that little floor trap helped us out. Five. Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook. Lightning grease and arrows. Nice. It's actually kind of useful. Yeah. Attack power below damage negation. Back here. Be careful of the floor trap there. Slimes that we don't care about. Let's see. Choppy. Just gotta be careful with this, because this will kill us. Is it a watchdog at the end or something else? Hmm. I don't quite remember. If it's a watchdog, I think either way we'll probably go with the great sword. Rest. Watch for the trap. We'll actually rest before we go to the fight, just so we have full flask and everything. Rest up. Okay. Did I get this already? Okay, good. All right. So what UV? My money's on a watchdog. Alright. Physic. Brawn. And let's find out. Ah, watchdog. I'm 
gonna mess up and then I'm gonna get smacked in the face. <laughs> Grave Ward Pickers Bell Bearing. Okay, so it was the watchdog. <laughs> I know, I could probably have parried that the third attack, but I was like, eh, I wasn't confident. back here we'll go back outside uh, what time is it? 50 minutes got to adjust everything back we can actually put away the pale drake talisman Another catacomb bites the dust. Ooh, decent butterflies. Oh wait, that's right. There's a. That's actually the exit to the twin. Uh, the abductor virgin fight. That's the exit. Brings us out here. Oh, there's a grace down there. In fact, we'll hit up that grace. And then we'll go through that fight, because... But I'll probably forget about it if I don't do it now. Bunch of skeletons we don't care about. Alright, so this grace should be down here. Volcanic rock? Volcanic stone. So this is the lower part of Mount Gelmir. So. Tag this. I think that's an Ash of War. Do we want to get it right now? Sure, we'll get it right now. Come out the long way. Side. Oh, come here. Raj. It's a bow skill which we don't care about. Okay. Oops, there's an item up there. We'll grab that item and then we'll go do that abductor. the abductor version fight. A bunch of arrows. Which reminds me, I need to go buy arrows. Now to get to the abductor virgin fight, we need to go to the subterranean inquisition train chamber. Let's actually switch this out. Hmm. Maybe I can demonstrate the abductor virgin little the abductor versions have a abduct abductor virgins. They have a little quirk to them. They take extra stance damage from lightning infused weapons or lightning buffed weapons. Or any weapon with lightning on it. I think it's this way. Should drop down somewhere. Here it is. Boss fog is that way. Cool. It is a duo fight, so we are going to summon Oleg just to kind of help us out. But abductor virgins, as I was saying, they take extra stance damage to anything with lightning. I think it's like 15 per hit, I, I believe. And they take like a flat 5 for anything else. So if you have a quick weapon with lightning infusion or lightning buffed, which I plan to do here, you should be able to knock them out pretty quickly. Uh, let's actually 
actually do um, let's do that. Okay. So we're gonna use electrify electrify armaments to kind of demonstrate it. So hopefully they don't die too quickly. Because if I electrify the katana, it should take six or seven hits in order to break their stance. Right, so let's physic, prawn, electrify, just to have enough for Oleg. on you. Yeah, you saw how quick that was. <laughs> <laughs> if you face an abductor version, use lightning. Either lightning grease or lightning like or electrify armament. You just destroy them. Oops. Ah, that was so difficult, we needed to rest. <laughs> no, I did the wrong gesture by accident. <laughs> yeah, you saw how quickly we demolished them in, the, in their stance department and in damage. Mainly because we're weapons a bit stronger than intended for this point, but they are more susceptible to lightning, if I remember right. This is the third way to get to the Altus Plateau. So the, the first way, the quote intended way, is to go through the ruin spruned precipice. The second way is to use the Grand Lift of Dectus, which I think is just beyond those trees. And the third way is to use Patch's little method in the abductor virgins gank you to Volcano Manor, making way making your way down here to this boss fight. And this will also spit you out into the Altus Plateau. So there's three ways to get up here. I recommend going through the uh, the ruined Sprune Precipice. Just for upgrade materials if you need it at the time, but otherwise the Grand Lift is probably a good a second a good choice if you just wanna uh, blast your way through to the capital because it's a straight shot from there. But, yep, this gives us oh, grave warts, okay. Can't manner, this is the Inquisitor's Grandel? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Torture, numerous spikes, pierce the flesh, and singe through wounds with flame. Causes blood loss. Wait, it has like a. Hold on. <laughs> okay. It's a pokey candlestick. <laughs> but. Let's see what's on. Yeah, that's actually probably calling up so right here. We kind of just started. Exploring Altus Plateau. Because there's that grace we just activated not too long ago. But, yep. Yep. Started. Well, actually, we did advanced Millicent's quest line. It's where we can buy pest threads. In case all of us, little, his the starlight to get the magic scorpion charm. And then we tested out what would happen if we gave the draw to Ronnie, which. She gave us two chances to leave, and then she killed us. She just straight up killed us. Like, okay. 
<laughs> but luckily, we could absolve our sins with the Pope, Pope Turtle at the Church of Vows. So now Ronnie's back to before we even gave her the draw. So she's waiting for us to get the uh, fin Finger Slayer Blade from Narkron. Which I'll probably do after the plateau. Yeah, I guess we'll. Let's see. We'll probably go here. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There's that NPC out here that I meant to do, but we'll probably do that at the beginning of the next episode. Then we'll come make our way this way, do this tunnel, clear out this little camp here. Um. There's a ever jail here. We'll probably do that as well in the next episode. Uh, or hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. That's a good plan. Yeah, we'll probably start here. Tunnel. Take out this area here. Because there's a, like a little camp here and here. That's a big camp here. Take care of that. We'll probably make our way this way and then get to the jail. That's a Knight Rider. Um, hmm. and, I, and I know there's a dragon fight up here somewhere. Yeah, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think that's the plan. But oh, get some light. A bit bright. But as always, I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all. See you all next time. <laughs>